These are the various active electronic components that we're going to understand today. But first, let's quickly understand what active components actually are. Active electronic components are those that can control the flow of electricity, amplify signals, and process power. They need an external power source to work, unlike passive components that only respond to electricity flowing through them. These active parts are basically the heart and brain of every electronic circuit. They make things move, compute, and react. Now let's begin with one of the simplest active components, the diode. A diode is a tiny semiconductor device that allows electric current to flow in only one direction. You can think of it as a one-way door for electricity. It prevents current from flowing backward, protecting the rest of the circuit. Diodes are used in power supplies, battery chargers, and even LED lights. They're essential for converting alternating current, or AC, to direct current, or DC, and keeping circuits safe and stable. Speaking of light, the next component is the light-emitting diode, or LED. It's a special kind of diode that emits light when current flows through it. LEDs are everywhere, from small indicator lights and digital displays to car headlights and flashlights. They're energy efficient, long-lasting, and available in many colors. Compared to old bulbs that wasted a lot of energy as heat, LEDs are far more efficient and have completely changed the way we use light in electronics. Now let's talk about another type of diode, the photodiode. This one works in the opposite way of an LED. Instead of producing light, it detects light. When light falls on a photodiode, it generates a small electrical current. That's why you'll find photodiodes in remote controls, light sensors, and automatic brightness systems in phones and displays. They're fast, reliable, and essential in devices that respond to light. Another important diode is the Zener diode. Unlike a normal diode that blocks current in one direction, a Zener diode is specially designed to allow current to flow backward, but only when the voltage reaches a specific value. This makes it perfect for voltage regulation, meaning it helps keep the voltage steady in a circuit. You'll find Zener diodes in power supplies, chargers, and voltage protection circuits. They're simple but incredibly effective at preventing damage from voltage changes. Now moving on to one of the most powerful and versatile active components, the transistor. A transistor can work as both a switch and an amplifier. This ability to control and amplify signals is what makes transistors so revolutionary. There are two main types of transistors, the bipolar junction transistor, or BJT, and the field effect transistor, or FET. BJTS are great for signal amplification, while FETs, especially the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, or MOSFET, are widely used for switching and power control in modern circuits. Transistors are found in computers, radios, televisions, and smartphones. They're fast, reliable, and truly the foundation of modern electronics. Next up, we have the Thyristor, also known as the Silicon Controlled Rectifier, or SCR. It's another type of semiconductor device used mainly in high power circuits. It works somewhat like a transistor, but can handle much larger voltages and currents. Once it's triggered by a small signal, it keeps conducting until the power is turned off. Thyristors are used in motor speed controls, light dimmers, and industrial power systems. They're strong, efficient, and perfect for managing large amounts of power safely. Closely related to the thyristor are DIAC, which stands for Diode for Alternating Current, and TRIAC, which stands for Triode for Alternating Current. These are used mainly for AC current control, a DIAC allows current to flow once the voltage reaches a certain point, while a triac can control current in both directions, making it ideal for AC loads. You'll find these components in fan regulators, dimmer switches, and AC motor controllers. Together, they make it possible to smoothly control power in household and industrial applications. Now let's move into the world of signal processing with the operational amplifier, commonly called an op amp. This is a small but powerful integrated circuit that can amplify very weak electrical signals. Op amps are used in microphones, audio equipment, analog filters, and control systems. They can be configured to add, subtract, or compare signals, making them one of the most flexible and essential parts of analog electronics. Next up is the legendary 555 timer IC. The number 555 actually comes from the 3.5 kilo ohm resistors inside the circuit that set its voltage levels. This small chip can be used as a timer, pulse generator, or oscillator, 
which means it can create repeating signals or time delays in a circuit. The 555 timer is found in alarms, flashing LEDs, clocks, and many hobby projects. It's incredibly popular because it's easy to use, reliable, and can perform multiple functions just by changing a few connected components. Finally, we have the voltage regulator. As the name suggests, it keeps the output voltage constant no matter how much the input voltage changes. It's a crucial part of any power supply circuit making sure that sensitive components receive stable voltage levels. Without voltage regulators, devices could malfunction or even burn out due to power fluctuations. You'll find them in chargers, adapters, and almost every electronic gadget that runs on DC power. So these were all the major active electronic components. I hope that you guys learned something new today. If you did, then please consider subscribing because in the future videos, I'll be explaining integrated circuits sensor, and other fascinating electronics components. See you in the next one.